Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is find and enable labs. So you can go to this little gear icon here where it says settings. But you actually have to go further down to click settings again. And now if you notice previously, uh, previously you would have see, seen the word labs here as a tab. But um, it's actually been replaced with advanced. So you can click on advanced. And here are some of the labs we have. Canned responses, custom keyboard shortcuts, most of them are enabled, uh, multiple inboxes, preview pane, etc., and so forth. Okay, so if you want to enable them, disable them, you can do here, or you can just tag it off. Now, let's say you would like to undo an email. So let's go to compose, and we'll enter in the email. Let's say the subject is just uh, today. And then let's say you send this email and now you want to quickly undo it. So I'm going to send this email and then I'm going to use the undo lab to get rid of it. So I'm going to let me first send. So here it's sent. Take a look down here. It says message sent. And if I press this undo, it'll undo that message. So let me press this undo right here at the bottom corner. You see it? It says message undone and it just popped up again. I'm going to do this one more time real quick. So we're going to send it. You can see right here, message sent. And then we're going to undo it again. Okay. Now let's say you want to um, work a canned response. So here's an email I sent to myself. Okay. So first thing you have to do to send a canned response, you have to reply. So I'm going to go to reply. And if I click right here, I can go to my canned responses. And I don't have anything saved. So I'm going to create the first one right now. So it'll be, here's my canned response. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So I've written out my canned response. I'm going to go to more option, canned response. And I'm going to save this as a draft template and then I'm going to go to save as new template okay we're just going to call this get back we're going to save so now if you go to canned responses take a look canned responses it's called the get back okay and it'll just paste it in again even though I already have it done now let's say you want to enable some keyboard shortcuts again for keyboard shortcuts you're going to go to settings, click settings again, and it used to be a, it's under labs, you'd have to go to advanced, okay, custom keyboard shortcuts, um, notice I have it enabled, okay, it has to be enabled, so first go to advanced, make sure it's enabled, and then you'll see right down here, here it is, and um, here's some of the, the shortcuts that they have, okay, compose, it's just a C, or you could add your own one in. I put a 5 in here. So let's say you want to change this to 7. Let's say you want to change this to 6. And then go to Save Changes. You have to press Save Changes. And it's been saved. And the last thing we'll do here is just go to Google Calendar and add an attachment. You're going to have a meeting and you want to add an attachment. You go to the date you're choosing. So let's say the 9th. Here we are. Let's say, uh, let's say art, go to more options, okay, because we're going to have a meeting, but let's say you want to attach a document or something, and then right here, if you go down here, you see this little clip, this is add attachment, and add anything you want, you could add, a, you could add, I don't know, the syllabus, let's say, it doesn't matter, select, and there you have it and then you press save. Okay, make sure you press save. Take a look, art meeting, and you'll see the syllabus is attached.